So let's have a quick look at some of the amazing things which I just wanted to let you know in this video. This is a Magisk Modules Repo Loader. You can find out a lot of modules in this app. This is basically a module manager and very useful, very amazing in the terms of UI, in the terms of functionality. Yes, this app works so good. We have a lot of modules available in this case. If you are able to notice, this is uh, this is having collection of modules, not enabled by default. These options are not enabled by default, but you have the option to add them on here in this app with the help of some custom repositories. I will let you know how these things are possible and how you can install these modules on a device. This is a module manager. So in case you don't know, if you are able to notice here, these are the modules which I've installed on my device. I can remove any module from here. I can install any module. I can update these and I don't need Magisk to do these kind of stuff. Yes, Magisk is still needed because you need to grant root permission and things will work with Magisk. But still, after installing Magisk, you can use this Magisk modules repo loader for most of your task. These are the repositories I've installed on my device and you can click here to add any other repository if you have any. And by default, as I just mentioned, these repositories are not enabled or added by default. The option is already available in the settings app. Whenever you open settings of this app, you'll be able to find out these repositories link. But still, in case you are not able to find the link, you can comment below. I'll give you the links for these kind of repositories so you can add them on your Android app on in this app basically. Else we have same kind of features available, I mean to say some useful things which we expect in a module manager. This is called reboot protection. So whenever you click on reboot, it will ask for the confirmation if you actually want to reboot your device or not. So sometimes we accidentally click on that button, it will protect you from that and that is actually so useful. Other than else, we have one more thing which is called working mode. So this app actually works with the help of Shizuku. It also works without root, but the functionality of this app will definitely be limited. It only works with root. I mean, the modules will be managed after rooting your device. So it works with Magisk, it works with kernel SE. So that is completely okay. Let's take an example. Let me try to install this module called Me Explore. This is just an example, by the way. And I'm installing this module on my device. Whenever I click on installed button, it is started downloading in the quick settings panel in the notification panel. If you are able to notice here, we have the progress bar available for this. And yes, definitely uh, it will install this. It will automatically download this thing. It will install this on my device. You can also click on the read me. So you have all the description automatically available. You don't need to go anywhere else. You don't need to use any other browser to find out these kind of information. Yes. And the terms of other things this basically seems a very useful module manager for you as you can see download is successful and it is installed automatically i do not have to do anything else without ads without anything else this is a very very amazing thing which you can install too on your android device of course it depends upon which module you are installing i'm just taking this as an example so it will take some time to install after that you will get the reboot option reboot your device and it done nothing else you have to do so yes this is it as you can see this is how it will work let me tell you one more thing if i use this open this magisk the module will be installed here too so that is actually a part of this magisk manager so yes this is it quite amazing thing if you want to try this out link is in the description